and welcome to my YouTube channel. Did you know how popular Latin dance is in China? I had no idea until I met my friend Dr. Ba. He is a Latin dance professor from China where this dance style has become so institutionalized. Many colleges and universities there offer multi-year degree programs specializing in ballroom dance. In North America, Many students who graduate with a bachelor's degree in dance may have received comprehensive training in a mix of different dance styles, like ballet, contemporary, African, jazz, maybe hip hop, and others. But in China, students who pursue a bachelor's degree in dance would likely have specialized in one particular dance style. So for example, Chinese classical dance versus Chinese folk dance, or ballet versus contemporary, or ballroom dance versus musical theater. It can be that specific. I've known Dr. Bob for several years. The few times that I see him, I always ask him a lot of questions about Latin dance and his thoughts about training students to be professionals in this area. When I heard that he came to the United States, I made a special trip to meet him here at the University of Washington in Seattle for an interview. Today, he has the opportunity to share his insight on dance directly with you. University of Washington's Career and Internship Center was nice enough to lend us a quiet room for us to conduct our interview. How popular is Latin dance in China? Uh, Latin dance has been developed and popularized in China for over 30 years. Chinese professional Latin dancers have been through a very long process to get a good placement in the world standings. Um, during the, the past 30 years, a number of Latin dancers have paid big tuition to world-class Latin dance champions from other countries to enhance their technical and pursue their own dreams of dance. Latin dance has become even more popular among young children this is because many parents now believe that dance can help with their kids' body shape and physical development. So the Latin dance market has expanded very quickly, especially in the past 10 years. Do you know of any specific ballroom dance university programs in North America? Because I don't. Here in North America, our post-secondary schools tend to be more comprehensive and they offer courses in many diverse and broad subject areas. In China though, they have many post-secondary schools that are centered on vocational areas and so they are very good at training specialists. For example, just in Beijing alone, they have entire universities dedicated to agriculture, aviation, petroleum, 
languages, and many more specific industries. How is Latin dance taught as a college major in China? Currently, there are many universities in China that offer ballroom dance as a program major. Many students entering Latin dance program don't necessarily have a dance foundation. A minority of students may have learned Latin dance as an, at an early age, so they have a good foundation. A few students may have previously participated national-wide and Latin dance competitions, and they have achieved very good results. So, there is a very wide mix of dance abilities for students entering ballroom dance program at college or university level in China. At university level, foundational dance training is an essential part of our Latin dance program. Core classes include ballet training, um, introduction of art, art appreciation, makeup, dance anatomy, and other specialized classes. The students in our program don't just learn dance technique. Teacher will also teach dance pedagogy so that our students can also teach and choreograph dance. I understand that Latin dance major students can specialize in dance education. And so this is a very, very specific program. Can you tell me more about that? Over 10 years ago, students could only study dance sport as a part of sports education stream. Now they have an option of specializing in dance education or artistic performance streams. The dance education specializing is very broad because it covers both dance and pedagogy. In this program, students are taught how to dance and compete in the competitions well. In the typical dance classes, the teacher would physically demonstrate different movements and techniques. The students would learn through carefully observation and follow the teacher's dance movement. But the students are also taught how to be a good dance teacher, applying effective teaching techniques, prepare good lesson plans, and organize the class well. In my opinion, dance education students turn to receive more well-around knowledge and training. Latin dance is a type of dance sport which refers to competitive ballroom dancing. Can you comment on Latin dance being treated as a sport? The term sports dance came from foreign countries. It's called dance sport because it involves a sports competition format. Also, if you scientifically monitor the dancers' bodies while competing in cha-cha-cha, samba, and other Latin dance styles, their maximum oxygen uptake index per minute is not less than basketball athletes playing in competitive game. So on the surface, dance sport may seem like just an artistic activity that audience can enjoy watching. It is very beautiful and enjoyable to watch. But in reality, the athletic nature and endurance of Latin dancers is not less than the athletes in other sports competitions. What kind of academic research have you done on Latin dance? The main area of my research include the 3D image analysis of dance movement of Latin dancers and also to study their full pressure. These studies can objectively guide the daily training of Latin dancers from a theoretical perspective. It can help them to control and correct the change of the center of gravity so that they can do a dance movement better and more effectively. For my doctoral research, I studied how increasing aerobic capacity can lead to improve Latin dance skills. Many other Chinese scholars have done scientific research on very specific aspects of Latin dance to improve the quality of dancers in my country. 
How do your students learn about the different cultural backgrounds of the Latin dances? In today's internet age, we try to keep our teaching method as up-to-date as possible. We introduce the students to the historical background of where the Latin dances originated as they can have a cultural understanding of these Western dances. Students can also use online videos and related books to guide a deeper understanding, not just copy dance technique. They can then express their greater knowledge and uh, appreciation of Latin dance through their vivid performance to impress the audience and judges. What is your personal opinion about fusing Latin dance with different dance styles? Latin dance came from Western countries. In my opinion, as it is something from Western countries, it should have its uniqueness and forms of expression preserved. Adding other cultural elements to it would not make it authentic. However, many people nowadays have global multicultural outlook. With the spread and popularity of diverse dance from around the world, many traditional dances have become fused with new elements. For example, with Chinese dance, the costume, music, makeup, hairstyles have had modern elements introduced, but the heart of Chinese dance remains the same. Similarly, though Latin dance may have different elements or themes introduced, the basic dance steps and techniques will not radically change. Though the music, makeup, and clothing may be innovative to give audience a new experience, Latin dance is still Latin dance. The core techniques for samba, cha-cha-cha, rumba, paso doble, or jai should not be like Chinese dance because Chinese dance has a completely different style. So you lived in Kiev for four years and did your PhD program there, your PhD thesis in Russian. So can you say a few words in Russian? Introduce yourself to the audience. Sure, why not? Добрый день, меня зовут Бо. Я учился в Тиадне в университете физического воспитания спорта Украины в Киев четыре года. When did you begin to learn Latin dance? I started learning Latin dance at a young age, but I systematically began to study Latin dance at age 16. Afterwards, I studied it as a college major. I also went to Ukraine to study dance and sports training methodology for my PhD. I have also studied at Beijing Dance Academy and in Canada for each for one year. I have been doing Latin dance for quite a few years. I've known you for several years and I know that you're usually a quiet person but when you're doing Latin dance it's like you're on fire and full of flair and passion. How do you adopt the Latin American attitude or energy in your Latin dance performances? I love dance. To get the essence of dance, I like to travel around the world, observe the dances of various ethnic groups and how the dancers express themselves during performance. I enjoy life and observing different people and things. When I am dancing, I'm like an actor and put myself in an imaginary theme. The night dance to emotionally move myself. I feel that this way. My dance is the most real and I can better engage the audience on the journey that I have created through my dance. Thanks, Bob, for doing this interview with me. Thanks for inviting me. I have fun. See you next time in Vancouver. Originating from a few Western countries, Latin dance has become globalized, with academic professionals in China contributing to the development of this dance genre. They are also training a healthy supply of Latin dance specialists through their country's post-secondary school system. Dr. Bob's Latin dance career has given him very valuable experiences in China, Europe, and North America. I call him a world-class dance expert. He always flatly denies his title. 
but he just gave an interview that reveals how serious China is about Latin dance, all in English and on YouTube. Isn't globalization awesome? Well, hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please remember to check out my other videos in which I explore other dance styles from around the world and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time.